Hey, what's up everyone? Um, yeah, I just got out in the middle of the week uh, trying to do some uh, fluking. Uh, didn't have much time. Um, been pretty preoccupied with other things uh, even during the weekend. So I uh, decided to come out at night. No keepers for me uh, from shore uh, this past month. So I am in a funk. Uh, so tonight is very windy. Uh, it's cold. Uh, so the audio is not going to be very good, so I'll probably uh, reduce the volume on it. Tonight I'm using a Tsunami Slimwave, um, 7 foot, medium heavy, same one I was using last year in my other videos. Uh, but right now I'm using a different size reel. It's a Daiwa BG, it's a 1500 size reel. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun to use something really light with 10 pound line and everything. But you know what, it was really not a good idea. And the reason why it wasn't a good idea is because Every time I set the hook on a fish, the drag would slip. Um, so you figure the drag on a reel of this size is only going to be about five pounds max. Um, and my hook sets are pretty much overwhelming uh, that drag. Um, so I will probably go back to my 2500 size reel. Uh, that will probably have at least double uh, the drag um, so it would not slip. I, w I would really would have to wrench it down on this tiny reel for it to not slip but if you're going to do that you're just using the wrong equipment right. so lesson learned damn it right in that dark patch I got, there was no shortage of fluke. I got into a lot of fluke, but it was just short after short after short after short after short after short. It was just ridiculous. I just could not buy a keeper. And again, a lot of those uh, fluke are, are feeding on those grass shrimps. That's why I carry gulp shrimp almost uh, every time I go out. Wow, there's just fish busting up there on the corner. I don't know if you're watching. Over on the corner, there's this big fish just swiping at little bait fish. Oh yeah? Oh, yeah. Down there? Nah, nah. Down the other way. See, I don't like fishing that side, so I get snagged all the time. Yeah, but yeah, you can't ignore that. I really tried to ignore all those splashes. Holy crap. Uh, but it was just too much. <laughs> my curiosity got the best of me. Um, I really didn't want to stop looking. I wanted to get my keeper, uh, but I had to investigate. All right, so what I'm using is my high low. Well, oh, not a high low, but it's just a, a teaser oh, dropper uh, a foot above the sinker. Uh, that's all I have. I don't. I didn't bring any lures. I didn't bring anything. That's all I have. Just my fluking setup. So. I'm just casting it out there, retrieving it slowly, and hoping for the best. I have been getting some some hits on it, but it was just, for some reason, it was just not taking. And uh, later on, I'll know why. Uh, but I felt so helpless because this is all I have. I just have that that gulp shrimp on with that sinker. On again. It was kind of frustrating, but um, after a while of failed attempts, I decided to take. Uh, the, the sinker off because I figure you know the tip of that rod is is pretty light and I have only I have 10 pound braid on so uh, so I decided to just cast it uh, with just the shrimp on just the way the rig is set up I just took the sinker off and I just cast it out that shrimp and let it suspend in the water so it gave it a ultra slow presentation I think a lot of people had nights where there's just fish busting up all over the place. You try to give them something to take it, but there's just no takers. That's just the most frustrating feeling.
release my sinker. I'm gonna be a little discouraged with this uh, first catch, but I kept on going because I seen a much bigger fish uh, swiping at the bait fish. Oh, fucking shad. Yeah, so that's why they were missing a lot of the hook sets. Uh, it's because it was the shad, you know, they just have uh, smaller mouths. Uh, they were not hooking up well onto that gulp. What do you got? Again, I'm just suspending that gulp. Um, I'm hoping it was a, a weak fish. Oh, yeah. I was hoping. This one's a, what is this, a bass? That's a bass. It's Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, Alright. That's like the smallest one I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, it's quite smaller, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, pretty good. Nice bass. Holy crap. I saw him take that one. I think I set the hook before he even actually had it in his mouth, but I got lucky with that. Come on. Yeah. And remember, I do have 10 pound line on, and this thing is almost a keeper sized bass. So. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. You'd be surprised how strong right, these, right, boy, these braids right, are. All right. Easy off. Easy off. Let's get you back. Today that I caught in my life. <laughs> I never have this luck over here. Alright, so bass and shad. It's a weak. No, is it? No, it's a shad, damn it. You could hear the disappointment in my voice. I really thought for a second it was a weak fish. <laughs> Little baby striper. Oh. Look at you, baby. Just enormous amount of bait. It's just no wonder why there were so many fish under them. Not even close. A 17 maybe. Oh, you're so fat. Alright, so after catching a lot of shads and small stripers, uh, I figured let me try to get back to my fluking, try to get my keeper of the night. But you know what? It The fluking died down a little bit after getting a couple of more. Um, it was got really quiet, so I uh, called it a night, and that was it. And the drought continues um, from shore anyway.
but uh, well, let's see what happens. All right, look out for my future videos, and maybe I'll bring one up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it quits. I don't know what kind of fish that is. Silver side. I don't know.